Welcome to this e-learning session where we'll unravel the art of effective energy management. I'm thrilled to guide you through the strategies and tools that can help you save big on energy expenses, foster energy efficient behavior, and ensure compliance with regulations. So, let's dive right in and explore the secrets of efficient energy management. Let's hear what our customers have to say. I want to verify if my utility bill is accurate, both from a metering and bill calculation perspective. All right, let's kick things off with utility bill verification. Imagine this, you're on a mission to reduce your energy costs, and it all starts here. It's actually quite straightforward. All you need is a revenue grade meter on your main power sources and a nifty tool like PME for reporting. What's the magic trick? Well, by comparing your internally generated shadow bills with your actual energy consumption, you can spot billing errors that could mean quick financial returns. This approach also helps you pinpoint opportunities to cut down on consumption over time. Plus, understanding those billing levers can lead to practices like peak shaving and demand response. I want to encourage energy efficient behavior and support cost accounting by accurately allocating direct and indirect energy costs to departments or processes. How can I do? You can make this happen by using standalone or embedded metering solutions to measure energy costs. Then, allocate those costs by business unit, department, area, floor, or building through metered data reporting and well structured business hierarchies. What's fascinating is that this often results in reduced consumption due to changes in how people and departments use energy. I want to compare the efficiency of energy use across buildings, plants, and process lines. What would you advise? This is called energy benchmarking. Picture this, you can now compare your energy usage with other buildings, plants, or process lines. And this can be a game changer when it comes to reducing costs. Using multi-site PME, you can benchmark energy usage, compare it to your peers, and even normalize consumption with respect to factors like area or production volume. This approach helps you understand what makes an energy-efficient facility use less energy than an inefficient one. I want to analyze how much energy is consumed by the various load types and areas in my facility to determine where to focus my energy conservation initiatives. Well, for this, I have to tell you about energy usage analysis. Here, we're on a mission to figure out how much energy is being consumed by different load types and areas within your facility. We're talking about identifying energy usage patterns, finding energy waste, and figuring out which factors contribute most to energy consumption. You can also assess energy usage by specific process areas or by the products you output. And, of course, tracking key performance indicators like energy intensity and coefficient of performance is all part of the journey. I want to analyze the energy performance of my facility or building against a model baseline which takes into account relevant energy drivers. All right, let's explore energy performance analysis. Here, you'll analyze the energy performance of your facility or building against a carefully crafted baseline that takes into account various energy drivers. By importing contextual data, you'll gain insight into operational energy consumption shifts, production lines, and equipment. Visualization of energy in context creates a feedback loop between the energy manager and operations, allowing for decisions that maximize energy efficiency. I want to verify the energy savings from an energy retrofit or energy savings program. Well, energy performance verification is the key. Imagine being able to verify the energy savings resulting from an energy retrofit. This is crucial, especially when performance contracts are involved. Similar to energy performance analysis, it's essential to have a dynamic baseline to account for the variability of energy consumption. This model shows the difference between model data, pre-retrofit, and actual data, post-retrofit. It's a way to weigh the results of energy conservation measures against your targets or goals. I want to benchmark my energy consumption with respect to a national or international energy efficiency certifications body 
and display our energy reduction success to the public. Energy efficiency compliance is all about making sure your energy consumption meets national or international standards and showcasing your energy reduction success. These standards are becoming requirements for many new buildings, often resulting in tax credits. Meeting these requirements opens doors to new projects, ensuring your organization stays ahead of the curve. I want to track and report carbon emissions for public disclosure, transparency, green image, regulatory compliance, or participation in carbon markets. Greenhouse gas reporting is the perfect tool for tracking and reporting carbon emissions for transparency, compliance, and a green image. You'll monitor greenhouse gas emissions over time, segment them by source, scope, and pollutant, and even participate in carbon markets. By doing so, you not only contribute to environmental sustainability, but also enhance your organization's reputation. There you have it, a journey through the world of energy management in e-learning style. These strategies and tools offer a holistic approach to saving money, encouraging sustainability, and ensuring compliance. As you embark on this path, Remember that every step you take not only reduces your energy spending but also contributes to a brighter and more sustainable future. Thank you for joining me in this e-learning session, and may your energy management endeavors be both prosperous and eco-friendly.